In today's video, I am going to explain you how we can copy or move all files from OneDrive uh, for business to SharePoint Online uh, using Power Automate or Microsoft Flow. And the other way also we will do, uh, we will see how we can move uh, files from SharePoint to OneDrive for business. So both the scenarios we are going to cover on this. Now if you have noticed my previous video. Uh, there we explained how we can do uh, individually the files like uh, the flow will run when someone will upload a document either to OneDrive for Business or SharePoint Online and then it will uh, move the document to either OneDrive or SharePoint. But here we will see, uh, let's say, let's say give, let, let me give you an example. Uh, one of my clients said that uh, we have, we are uploading some of the documents uh, throughout the month and uh, at the end of the month uh, maybe on 31st or, or some some time uh, we want to uh, move those files to an archive folder that was in sharepoint uh, uh, online so that was from same sharepoint to sharepoint so in that case what we can do is uh, we can create a flow we can uh, schedule it and then that flow will run on on particular schedule whatever we will set and uh, that flow will uh, will uh, basically move the files to the archive document library like this but here we will see how we can do that that kind of scenario you can take and here we will see how we can do both the things now let me just show you here now let's say this is my one drive for business i want let's say people are uploading some files uh, then what it should do is it should move those documents to your SharePoint library. Let's say this is my SharePoint site and here it should move. Now for this, we will create a flow. So how we'll do is uh, you can just uh, uh, click for flow.microsoft.com and then we'll come up with this page and then click on create. Uh, if you are, uh, if you can see this, uh, this cloud flow everywhere, uh, Microsoft has named it. And if you are uh, in my previous videos, mostly a lot of videos will not be there because they recently changed the name but apart from that all other things are same now if you'll see here uh, you have two options either you can clear, create a uh, instant flow instant cloud flow which will uh, uh, which will be like a button flow which will uh, which you can click click from your um, uh, from here from my flows or uh, you, you can uh, run it from the mobile uh, mobile app also uh, or you can schedule it let's say i will create a schedule flow uh, and here you can uh, select uh, from which date it will start and then uh, um, for uh, let's say it will be occur in two minutes or something or three minutes um, so it will keep on running on this and we will what we will see here is uh, we will manually run it and then we will see it now here i'll give a name so i will say move all uh, files from OneDrive to SharePoint. Now, when I'm saying OneDrive, it's OneDrive for business basically. And then click on create. So once you click on create, you can see here the recurrence is there. Anytime you can come here, you can change it. You can even go to the advanced option. You can select the time zone, start time, those things also you can do. Uh, next, what I'll do is we will uh, now click on add new step. Here we are going to add a action here. Now what we are going to do here is, now understand this, you have all the files. So first we have to read all the files from here and then we have to do a uh, apply to each and then we will uh, get file content for each file and then we'll create this. So these steps will be there. Now for this, I will search for list files. Uh, you can see here list files in folder. Uh, you can select this or in the root folder you can also select let's say i'll select the root folder um, so it will take the root folder directly uh, but if you will not select this let's say i'll delete it uh, i will click on new step and then here i will select list files and uh, if you will select list files in folder and understand here it should be in the onedrive because we are going to read from onedrive so i am selecting the actions from uh, the onedrive list files in folder and in this case you have the option which folder you want to select uh, and in this case if you will select this you can see the root folder or you can simply put a, a backslash here so this is the root folder so two actions whichever you can use you can use that if you have subfolders, then be, the best thing is you have to select this one because and that way you will be able to select it. 
now once you have all these files uh, then what we will do here is uh, we will select and apply to each so let me just tell you why we require that you can see here apply to each control now why we require that because here uh, this will be multiple files will be there so it will it will be kind of for loop so select here and then we will have to select uh, the value here so list folder and then here the value so select here you can see down value here so once you select this now within our apply to each we have to add actions here so click on add an action and first thing we have to do we have to do is we have to get the file content and then we have to create the file uh, like we have done in the previous example so here you can see get file content and we will read from uh, OneDrive for business so I'm selecting the OneDrive for business one you can see here and uh, here uh, we'll have to select uh, the file path so what will be the file path the file pa file will be there in the root folder uh, so I'll put slash and then you can see here name so select name here so that means by this time what will happen is we can get the file content so for each loop means when uh, the more uh, the number of time the loop will go so we will get that content and once you have that content what now we have to do is we have to now create the file and where we will create the file we will create the file in SharePoint so I will select create file and here you can see uh, SharePoint so select it and here I'll provide the site name so in this case my site name will be SP guides uh, the folder path so in this case the folder will be uh, our uh, document library so just select this folder icon you can see here and you will be able to see shared documents so that is what we required and then file name so if you'll go to the dynamic con dynamic content here so the file name will be uh, the name and uh, next the file content will be the file content which is coming from this step so now by this time our uh, uh, file will get created here so now if you will run this flow then uh, it will create the file in this particular action and then next you can delete the file from SharePoint if you want like if you want to move the documents then you can simply uh, call the delete here so delete file and then you can put the identifier here so for example here I will say delete file and we have to delete from OneDrive for business so you can see here delete file OneDrive for business the identifier uh, which will be the unique identifier so here I will select uh, you can see here uh, the name you can uh, uh, you can add it here the name or even we can I add the ID so let me put the ID here the unique identifier you can see here uh, now click on save so we have saved it now uh, this is the time where now we can test it uh, so you click over here in the test and then manually uh, then click on test here so one then you can see here it is asking to run the flow so once you run the flow uh, you can see here uh, it is done now so so th the reason why uh, there is an error because there is no file in our run drive so what we'll do here is let me just go back again here and uh, i will just edit this flow once again and here let me click on test manually and uh, what I'll do is I'll upload few files over here so let me go back here let's say 225 this five files I, I have uploaded here you can see and then now I will say test it so run the flow so you can see the flow will run you can see the flow is running here uh, this step has been done now it is in the apply uh, uh, apply to each so hopefully this this delete will work in ID uh, you can see here uh, this is still running so uh, let me just see SharePoint you can see here two files are already here uh, two more has to come here you can see those files deleted uh, next another two files will come and then other files also will get deleted from here you can see here still it is running so now you can see four files came here here also these files has been deleted 
and if you look back here now this is how uh, there is some errors uh, for some reason but um, you can see here how everything is worked here uh, so the the flow failed i think in the last uh, step somewhere um, let me just open it here yeah so get file uh, content so in the last time it is uh, this one is uh, fair so the reason behind that is because there is a uh, some files are there uh, uh, in this uh, it is taking the folder path so if i'll look at here this microsoft teams chat file so you can uh, ignore that and uh, all other things you can see here now it is in sharepoint uh, here and there is no files in our one drive for business so uh, this is how you can move all files from OneDrive to SharePoint. Now let me just turn off this and now next what we will do here is um, we will create a flow which will move all files from this SharePoint library to OneDrive for business. Now for that what I will do here is same step you can come here we will create a flow uh, you can create a schedule flow or you can create an instant flow. So let me create an instant flow in this case. Uh, so I will say move all files from SharePoint to OneDrive for business and you can see here manually trigger this flow click on create so our flow is uh, now it is created now we need to add all these actions so the same way uh, in our previous example how we read all the files from uh, the OneDrive for business in this case we will read all the files from our SharePoint so I will click on new step and I will select get files search for get files here and you can see here get files properties uh, select this and uh, in this case I will put the site address in this case it will be uh, let me just let it just populate you can see here sp guides I will select the documents as the document library uh, limits uh, limit entries to folder so you can uh, make it to uh, that folder only which is our uh, shared documents or you can simply ignore this also you can just put shared documents uh, we want from that folder and if you want to include nested items so you can select yes or no by based on your requirement so basically if you have subfolders then it will uh, run everything now once you get all these files next is we will do a uh, apply to each so same thing will use here apply to each you can see and within apply to each you can see here when you select there will be value so select this value and uh, next what we will do here is within our apply to each first thing is we have to uh, get a file content and then we need to create the file in the OneDrive for business so here I'll go here and then uh, I will select I'll search for get file content uh, you can see here file content and we are reading the content from SharePoint so I'll select the second one get file content using path SharePoint and here I will select uh, this one and in this particular case if you look at this it will be from shared documents um, and then uh, you will have to put uh, the file name so here it will be let's say the best way here is you can see here if you select here uh, shared documents then it will not add here unless and until you select a document let's say I select this document uh, next we cannot make it to static that it will work only for attachment to so just remove it or you can just add here uh, file name with the extension if you look at here so file name with the extension and the rest thing we will delete here now let me get add again so file name with extension now you can see here it is perfectly fine um, so once you get the file content next we have to create the file in OneDrive so here search for create file and in this case select OneDrive for business because we want to the, the file to be created on OneDrive for business uh, the file path you can have the root folder where we want to create file name file name will, will be file name with extension so in this case I will select this one file name with extension because if you will not provide the extension then it will not create that particular file 
and the file content will be the file content from here now i'm not deleting the sharepoint files um, you can add the delete um, uh, option if you want on that action but here now what we'll do is uh, now let's save this so you can see here uh, this is our logic so get file properties so everything will get it so then we'll do and apply to each and there we will first get the file content you can see here and then finally we can create a file in one type of business now so uh, save this flow so once we save it and then click on test uh, then click manually test it uh, so you can see here continue run the flow you can see here the flow run successfully so you can see the status here uh, so click on uh, this my flow and uh, here you can see this is the flow and the history you can see here it is still running you can see all this now it is everything is done here so that means all these two three four five this document should be there in the one drive of business now you can see here we have not added a delete condition that's the reason it didn't delete from your sharepoint but you can see everything is there in one drive of business so uh, this is how you can uh, work with uh, moving all the files this will be an ideal scenario where you want to let's say weekly basis or monthly basis uh, if you want to move the files from one location to another location whether it is from sharepoint to sharepoint or sharepoint to one drive or one drive to one drive then this microsoft flow actions will be helpful so this is how we can move all files from sharepoint to one drive for business or from one drive for business to sharepoint